All right. So this glitch will allow us to buy infinite prayer beads in theory. It starts out with going to the Demon of Hatred reflection. And during this uh, state or in this reflection thing, the entire like world is in a different state than it is uh, before you enter. So we'll see some changes uh, compared to how it would normally look here. Even if you uh, go to the normal Demon of Hatred fight and then uh, skip to here, it won't look the same. Um, for example, these grapples won't be available. This one will, but the one leading further will not. So we make him fall off just because... I've I've tried it without killing him and it didn't seem to work, but I'm not sure if it's actually a requirement to have him die because I think he actually will respawn here once you get far enough away, which is kind of weird. Also, there is no drops in from the enemies in uh, the reflection, so you can't really use it to farm for XP or money. All right, so we have to do bull skip here to get back. I'm just saving my position in case I fall off and die. Um, and then to, like, we're trying to go all the way back to Dilapidated Temple to buy, uh, from the offering box. Even though I have collected basically every emblem, uh, or basically every, um, what's it called? Basically every bead, except for the Tokujiro ones. Uh, that's the only boss I haven't killed on the save file. So, we can actually see that Demon of Hatred is, has respawned for some reason. And uh, I did check before, and he is actually there. It's not just a bug where his uh, health bar is there and there is no boss. The boss does respawn for some reason. Um, yeah. All right, now we're just going back to outskirts again, because that connects back to Dilapidated Temple. Although it will not normally at this point in the game, at this point in the game, uh, you will only be able to get back to Dilapidated Temple um, by teleporting with the idols, fast traveling. So, yeah, the things here look a little weird. You will also see that the door up here is closed, the way it will normally be open. This gate here, um, but I guess it's just some meme with the fact that it's the uh, default state or whatever that's being shown here. Also, you can kill Shigikichi. Uh, you can't open the door also. You can kill Shigikichi, but he won't drop anything. I'll show that later in this video. But yeah, so we're just making our way through. And it, there is something interesting with what is available in this world state. Like all the items that you've already picked up, I know for sure are not available. But I think just every item pickup in general is not. Um... And also, this merchant is not here. Usually he would be. And there are some grapples here that are kind of finicky, but they wouldn't be available at this point. And so, it, here is where you would enter the fight normally. And you can actually enter here and uh, fight him. But we have to go up here. This grapple is normally completely disabled. And you can see this area is not usually a place you can get to. Um when you're in the normal version of the world, but in the reflection you can. There's some pretty interesting things here. This fire doesn't seem to like damage you also. Um, and here I'm trying to get a view of the Demon of Hatred arena or Gyobu arena. Because um, you can kind of see it over in the distance. But you can actually see how it also looks at that point. Also, the canyon is completely missing. But you can see... Oh, if I really go back. You can see this up here. Like, this normally doesn't look this like... Um, it kind of looks like there's something missing, right? Over here in this direction. Uh, and that's kind of how it is when you're in the, um, when you're, if you were to be in the arena and then fly behind, um, 
it also looks kind of weird. I'm pretty sure this isn't how the, uh, the, the LOD looks for this area normally. Also, that area is actually further away than it looks like. Um, if you try flying there with no clip, you can, you can tell that you'll hit the area at a different point than what it looks like. There are a few instances like that in this game. You can't go back up once you get here. And also, this idol is not active. There was this idol up here, which was active right here. I didn't try it, but I'm gonna guess that there is no special interactions. I didn't want to accidentally, like, get teleported uh, if I touched it. Because if you quit out, use the idol, or, like, rest... I, or not rest, but sit at one of the points then it um there will be options to like teleport out like this one will immediately teleport you out of the reflection state if you use it it won't even give you a menu and also the quit out will also put you directly back i'm not sure about that idol up there but usually the idol would give you an option to quit out of the uh reflection and not just instantly do it once you sit at but you never know okay so you can see here uh, the prayer bead options are available for purchase and on this save as I said um, You can see here. I already have 34. I actually did this glitch already once on this so I started out with 28 which is um, I believe oh, yeah, I think it's how many you have um, after Orin but uh, Before uh, Tukujiro in uh, all boss and mini bosses glitchless at the moment. That's where I got the save files more from. Okay, so it's six that are available for purchase. So I already purchased six. I'm quickly showing the um, how many I have in the inventory as well. I scrolled past it, but it's here. It's a uh, thirty-four, and uh, then I just buy them, and then we'll be up to forty. And um, yeah. And I'm quickly showing in here that we do in fact have them. And then I'm gonna end the reflection state just to show that they are in fact kept afterwards. Because that's something I was wondering. I don't think it, it has been tested before whether you keep them or not. It probably has. This entire thing isn't necessarily anything new, but I remember there being a problem with not actually being able to get back to the Lapidator Temple uh, without cheats. And I have been using cheats on this, but uh, nothing that couldn't have been done already. I'm using guard mode and one-shotting just to make it easier and position tool to in case I fuck up. But I didn't need to actually use it. Okay, so here I'm just running through everything again. Just to show that you can get above 40 prayer beads. I'm basically doing the exact same thing as before. Um, doing a little bit better movement, I guess. I also killed this guy just to show that um, you don't get any drops. Maybe you get uh, spirit emblems, but I think that's about it. I don't think those spirit emblems carry over. Maybe they do. I guess that would be interesting because then you could use this as a spirit emblem farm. Uh, I guess that's something to test on a separate occasion. Um, because mini bosses in this game give you uh, 15 uh, emblems when you kill them. That doesn't apply to full on bosses, but only mini bosses, by the way. Okay. Just trying a little bit of parkour here. The, the collision is weird because some of the collision is there. Some of the invisible walls are there, but some are not. So it's kind of like a mixed state between the, like what you would encounter um, when you first get to this area during the the morning time of day, uh, and also, uh, you know, the the invasion, the second invasion state. So it's like a mix of the end game and the early game in that sense. It's a little weird. Okay, we go back. I'm just going to show that I have the 40, but you can see it in here. I have 40 and then we buy them and we can go above 46.
And when we, yeah, just showing them in the menu, when we idle out, but we will in fact still keep them. Yeah, so in theory you could get up to 99. The game does not allow you to carry any more than 99. Uh, I have not manually tested it. If you can get like more, maybe they will start stacking on a separate stack or something. I haven't... That's also a thing to test. Right. So the idea would be to use this in the all uh, beats and memories uh, speedrun unrestricted. But maybe it's too slow. We'll have to see with uh, further tests. And maybe there would be a way to air swim or something to speed, speed up the, um, the run through. And also you need another, a lot of money, but yeah. One thing that I quickly wanted to address is whether or not you can get above 10 prayer bead necklaces. So, uh, you know, increase your health beyond the intended maximum. Um, see here I have 46 and uh, we're going through to upgrade them. And this is the 10th here. I just saw the 9th just before the 10th and after the 10th we are locked out so no you can't get more than 10 prayer bead necklaces for extra hp but yeah that's about it